For the past two months, Sergeant First Class Bobby Ingram and Specialist Robert Johnson's morning schedule has been the same. Wake up and head to the gym with a goal in mind. A goal of making the final cut for the All-Army basketball team at Fort Benning, Georgia. I can't wait for that feeling of I belong. Like, okay, I see the competition out here. I see the strengths and weaknesses of all the players, but it's not an accident that I'm here. It's not a lucky thing, and uh, I, I, I can't wait. Out of hundreds of applications, roughly 20 participants are actually invited to the camp. And from there, only 14 will make the final roster that will train with and compete against Division I schools. For Johnson, the tryout will be a new experience. But Ingram has been in this situation before, narrowly missing the cut for last year's team. A result he hopes to change this time around by putting in the work every morning with his new training partner. Some days I don't want to push myself. He does. Some days he don't want to push himself. I do. And we, and we kind of challenge each other to, to improve. It's been a blessing to have somebody not just rebounding, but somebody who has knowledge of the game and, and then knows what looks right and, and what's wrong and uh, know what kind of intensity is needed for each workout. Each of the soldiers has experience playing competitively, with both starting varsity for their teams back in high school, Johnson in Wisconsin and Ingram in Virginia. But after being away from the game for a few years, the pair knows they'll have to step their game up to compete for a spot on the All-Army squad. It's one thing to go play every Sunday, play some pickup ball with your friends, but when you're getting ready to play uh, against D1 level competition and some of the best players in the Army, you know, you really got to get intense. I know some people may be training, but I, I don't think they're training as hard as we are because we get up and we, we go at it every morning. And with their on-court workouts being key to their chances at making the roster, both Johnson and Ingram say they owe a lot to their respective units, who gave them special permission to alter their PT schedule. They gave me the opportunity to train in the morning, which doesn't take away from my, my family time. And it, it just motivated me to push myself harder because I have two and a half hours every morning to where we could just do whatever we need to do. For them to let me do this, I thank them every morning that I can know I've already gotten my workout in and then go to work and then I can rest and recuperate. So it makes a world of a difference. And whether they make the cut or not, one thing is certain. Both soldiers will have the opportunity to represent the Big Red One at the team's camp, a responsibility that they take seriously. It's no accident I'm wearing this shirt. Fort Riley's all I've ever known. Besides my deployment, this is my only post. So I'm proud to be a Big Red One soldier because at the end of the day, it's what I am and it's, it's all I know. So that's why, that's why I'm representing right now. Reporting from Fort Riley, this is Jake Faber.